The Brazilian Internet Steering Committee, CGI.br, uh, is known uh, as a multi-stakeholder organization which has participation of governments, the so-called private sector, civil society, and the academic sector. And uh, we have made an effort, as you know, the Brazilian Internet Steering Committee is responsible for managing IP addresses and uh, domain names in Brazil and uh, is the only internet governance organism in, in the country. And uh, we have made an effort which lasted about uh, one year in the making to develop a set of principles which uh, would uh, orient the work of CGIBR in its mission and hopefully orient also the work and uh, the, the, the policy making of other sectors of society and government in Brazil. And we, after one year of work, we managed in a multi-stakeholder fashion, by consensus, to create 10 principles, which are available in, the, in our internet site, www.cgi.br, in three idioms, three languages, and you can download, discuss with us, we'll be pleased to hear your comments, and your suggestions, but we hope that uh, this effort to at uh, uh, building references to or principles, uh, taking into account uh, human rights, the right of others, the freedom of expression, the right to communicate, etc. Balancing this with the needs of business, the needs of government, the needs of cybersecurity, is a very important effort to balance all this, and we try to do that with those ten principles. We uh, have started a, an initiative which is not uh, news. Uh, in other regions, we have this initiative as well. It's uh, the effort to put together several countries in each region to prepare them, themselves, uh, the several stakeholders in each country, to uh, participate in the Internet Governance Forum with a clear vision of the issues and uh, hopefully of the positions which each region might have regarding those issues and uh, possible consensus, etc., which can be built around those issues. So you, uh, uh, we have promoted in Latin America and the Caribbean uh, the original IGF uh, and uh, and brought uh, together about 135 people from uh, at least four countries in the Caribbean, several countries in, in South America, and uh, we discussed precisely the main topics which will be the topics of the IGF in Sharm El Sheikh. And uh, things, uh, uh, positions that emerged which are quite important for us as uh, are, uh, for instance, that there is a strong need for harmonization of regulation and legislation in each of the uh, in each of the countries and between the countries in the region, among the countries, and uh, regarding privacy, regarding freedom of expression, regarding balancing cybersecurity with privacy and freedom of expression in order not to violate basic human rights and the right to communicate. And also regarding uh, issues like the management of critical internet resources, the question of connectivity among, among con countries, the unjust terms of trade among countries regarding bandwidth, you know, internet transit, and uh, regarding uh, multilingualism, the expression of local cultures on the internet, ways to stimulate access of these local cultures to the, to the network and uh, to prepare people in these cultures to uh, make these cultures express themselves massively on the internet through writings, through multimedia, etc. Uh, the, the important thing here is that the user, the internet is interesting, the, the user, uh, although we have more, more than a billion users today, uh, you, you can uh, see the users also within their countries as, as uh, you know a, a specific group which uh, is under specific regulations, specific legislation, attitudes of the government 
more or less democracy. You know, you have some countries which have a full representative democracy, others which have other systems of government, etc. The important thing is that the, the IGF is not only the event itself in Sharm el Sheikh, in Lithuania, and the past events in Rio, Athens, etc. The important thing is that this is a process in which several dynamic coalitions, multi stakeholder dynamic coalitions, get together and then uh, discuss throughout the year uh, their common interests and uh, hopefully build consensus around those interests in order to propose uh, uh, ways and uh, positions in the debates in the IGF. The IGF does stimulate these, let's say, tribes of interests to get together in workshops, in those dynamic coalitions, to discuss their views and seek common positions. I think this is quite important for legislators, regulators, to follow this process in, in a way to unify positions uh, in such a way that you don't violate, and this is a basic rule, don't violate basic human rights. Every country has signed the Declaration, Universal Declaration of Human Rights. We cannot violate the right to communicate, the right of freedom of expression, the right of people to, to their privacy, and everything that one decides in terms of regulation or legislation, either within countries or all countries together, must respect these basic rights. You, uh, the, these regional IGFs usually are multi-stakeholder initiatives. In, in organic terms, there is civil society organizations, academic organizations, governments get involved. In our case, in Latin America, the process was led by a regional organization, a very important organization regarding the internet, which is LACNIC, the, the regional uh, uh, organism in charge of distributing the IP numbers in the region. It was organized by APC, um, uh, large uh, consortium of civil society organizations working uh, on ICTs for human development for since 1990. And uh, with the NUPEF Institute and REITs in Brazil, which is also an organization, are also national organizations working as well in ICTs for development. And uh, with the support of academic organizations such as the National Research Network, which provided connectivity for the venue, etc. And uh, uh, also, we had support from ISOC you know, and several other organizations, in kind support, etc. So this sort of coalition builds the regional meeting to discuss all issues which the region can bring to the IGF, you know, their conclusions, etc. So it's not difficult to do, it's not expensive, and I think every region should do it.